there, my friends, and welcome to Free Games Part 376! In this episode, we have 15 free games and one DLC. Tell me in the comment section which game or games you like the most. Let's start! Cuts hidden in Jingle Jam. Yes, indeed, my friends, another hidden object, object game with cuts. Good times for the fans of the genre. What is it, General? My lord! One of the admirals didn't leave a like! What? Lord Vader, the fleet has moved out of light speed and we're preparing to... You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. Pestilence is a first-person stealth game in which you play as the Lord of the Pestilence, a betrayed god who seeks revenge against his brothers. The sinners will perish, but there is hope for the believers. Follow me and the other judges so the Green Plague won't come for you. This wicked illness is hiding among us. You must persecute anyone who displays the plague signs, such as green skin and revolting ulcers. Even if they are family or friends. Goober Dash is an online 2D platformer battle royale, but the dev added bots so you can play it even solo. I tried it and I was very surprised how fun it is. I lost in the first round. Furi de Maka, the chain. Well, uh, this is only one boss fight that might uh, take you 10 to 30 minutes, but it is quite fun. Hans is a visual novel baking simulator in which you play as an alien dropped off on Earth during World War I, who bakes magical pastries to help the people in a small town. <laughs> what an idea! Jake's Halloween Night is a short horror game inspired by old slasher movies. Anarchy Park is an isometric boss rush bullet hell set in a wacky amusement park. Welcome to the torture chamber. Mossy Pixels is a relaxing point-and-click game where your objective is to remove moss and reveal ancient drawings underneath. Space 
SDRG is a high octane motion sickness inducing action arcade shooting game. Fight against the letter D, R and G. In space. Space DRG. Chronicle is a puzzle platformer and you will need a controller in order to play it. Robot is a 3D action game where you play as a tiny robot and you have to defeat the huge robot. This is also just a boss fight, but fans of challenging boss battles will appreciate it. A Steam page says that, uh, that it doesn't have English language. It does. And if you go into, into settings uh, to go back, you need to press uh, space. Just saying, because I got stuck on that. Time Hunters is a game from the same developer. Uh, this is an arena shooter that you can only play in a local co-op and only with controllers. Pirates of Rectangular is a 2D ship battle game uh, that is harder than it looks, but quite enjoyable. Blocky is a somewhat relaxing game where you take the role of a designer of residential building facades uh, and earn points for finishing your tasks. Uh, now, the game started in my native language, so just in case the same thing happens to you, I will show you how to change the language to English. There, like that. Does it stack? It's a physics-based VR puzzle game. And now uh, the DLC that I mentioned. Uh, physics Lab VR. It's a D... D, D it's a DLC for Physics Lab that allows you to play the game in VR. Of course, the base game uh, is free also. And we are done for this episode, my friends! Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a great day or evening, and well, I will see you next time. Bye-bye!